Next in the series of a Blender uh, Python tutorials for the game engine, we're going to be printing stuff to the console, to the terminal. And that is the window that you use to open up Blender. Once again, when you're doing this sort of stuff, you're going to want to start Blender from the terminal, whether you're, no matter what operating system you're in. I think in Windows, by default, it opens up the terminal. Because um, any error output will go to this terminal, uh, or console, whatever you want to call it. Don't get that mi mi mixed up with this Python console. Stuff we're working with isn't going to show up in there. This is for you to run commands and test out scripts uh, that you might be running but not actually warning in the game already. So let's go and open up our text editor here. Once again, create a new text. We'll just call this my print. And we will I like to enable those things. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we are going to once again import Blender Game Engine and um, that's not the only way to import it that's I'm trying to stay consistent in another tutorial I'll go over that just ignore what I just said so define main we're going to define our main function for this script and then we're going to create our controller once again this is like the fourth or fifth video in this series so if you don't understand the stuff that I'm typing so far, um, be sure to to watch the previous tutorials. Current controller. So we created our controller. And uh, really for now, let's just do print and then side parentheses and side quotation sulfur string. Hello world. and then we'll run our main function here and uh, what we're going to do is just like in the other tutorials split this make this our logic editor and uh, then we're going with our cube selected and really at this point it doesn't matter what object because I just want to run the script but I'm going to say always and I'm going to connect that to our Python script and I'm going to connect that there and now at this point I'm not going to put on pulse mode but here is our terminal oh, there we go our terminal so now when I go into the game mode here and press P and we tab over here you can see it printed hello world in the terminal now if I tab back here I'll end that game and I'll turn on pulse mode and start the game up again and you'll see that it's constantly writing hello world over and over and over and over and over again so that is how we print something to the console but let's that's just printing a string let's print a little bit more information let's print um, the location of the X position of our cube or whatever object we link this script to so what we'll do here is before print we'll say owner equals control dot owner once again this is going to be whatever object we've linked to this script in this case our cube there and um, then what we can do is we can say print and inside parentheses we can put owner the object dot local position did I spell position right? I think I did let's find out there we go. Its position is zero 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 zero. Move it up there, and we will s run the script or run the game again. And now you can see it's in a different position. Okay, and we can also combine that, and we can say a string such as objects position is and then we'll do a comma here I think that will work yes so it says objects position then it says vector blah 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 now we can also you know narrow that down we can say pos uh, objects x position and then do dot x here for our objects location x so now we'll hit p to run that and you can see it says 
object's x position is, and it has its position. Now, of course, I can um, have that object slowly move, so we can say uh, owner dot local position dot x equals plus one, or plus dot one, or else it will move really fast. I think I typed that all right, if I remember back from our previous tutorials. I'll press, let's move this back here, and we'll press P, and you can see the cube kind of moved. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, let me quickly look at my notes here, because I was trying to do this from memory. Oh, I see. Uh, plus equals, not equals plus. Otherwise, I'm just saying move it point 0.1 once, not add, or to position point zero 0.01, and this should be point 0.1. Now, we'll press P. You can see the cube moving, and if we look at the terminal here, you can see the position of it constantly being updated. So that is printing uh, both strings and objects information, if that's the right terminology, to the terminal. Um, so this is going to become useful in future tutorials for you to check stuff and know what's going on. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Also check out the other links in the description, filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon to help support the site. And I just hope that you have a great day. Uh, also, I'll post the blend file and this, uh, this uh, script in the links in the description. So check those out. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah, buying stuff online, yeah, yeah, I like doing that, and I also like supporting sites online, so that's why I go to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon, and, and I can buy stuff and support sites I like, like filmsbychris.com, yeah, it's a good thing, and I'm going to be buying stuff anyway, so why not let filmsbychris.com help me find the stuff I want to buy, um, Win-win situation if you ask me. I recommend it.